Hey guys, so today is Wednesday. No. Yes, it is a Wednesday. I was thinking, wait, I didn't have tennis practice this morning, but <clears throat> I didn't go to tennis practice this morning because we have a match tomorrow. And um, I had played on Monday and I have things to get done here at the house. So I did not go to tennis practice. We'll go tomorrow, but today is Wednesday. Um, August 28th 2024 I was saying that with like a question on my mind because I was trying to remember the date but I'm pre pretty sure today's um, August 28th 2024 and I believe yes it is the 28th because it's your first day of school um, <clears throat> how was it what did you think do you guys like your teachers um, Maybe things are different there because I know they had a huge cutback in the amount of staffing. I think that there was at least a hundred um, less staff. Now, I don't know how much of that would have been from the administrative op office, but I'm assuming that it's also um, had an impact on your classrooms, the size of your classes, how many kids are in there, Per t one teacher. Um, I'm guessing they probably did away with a lot of the teacher's assistants, um, but I know they had significant cut <clears throat> to their budget and to the personnel. So I'm curious if you guys notice a difference. What kind of difference is it? Um, I really hope that it doesn't affect the kids. That is my biggest concern, probably likewise with every other parent um, that has kids going to Moses Lake um, High School. By the way, this here is a uh, bug zapper. So I got it on Amazon. <clears throat> it works. I mean, there's like bugs stuck inside there. So it says it's supposed to work better than anything else. So I've been doing that lately when I come out onto our patio instead of doing bug spray. And it works. I have not been bitten yet. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious about your guys' first day. And uh, the kids, like, did you guys, do you have more, or I'm sure you have more kids in your classroom, but do you have new kids in your classroom, meaning your old friends or your current friends aren't in your classes that you now have this year? I would assume that is more likely the case with Clara's school versus your school, school Warren, because your school is, um, <clears throat> what did you call, I can't remember, it, a, it's a technical school, so I think that they kind of keep it a certain way, and I don't think that they add a whole lot of kids um, after the ninth year, but again, I could be wrong, they might be changing that especially since the funding and the reduction of the amount of teachers they might be increasing the amount of kids that they're sending to that techno to the technical high school that you're going to warren <clears throat> with that being said um i kind of ra rambled on but i wanted you to know i am thinking about you guys um just because i'm not there just because we don't have the ability to communicate right now doesn't mean that I'm not actively involved. I am as actively involved in understanding and knowing what's going on in your lives um, from, I guess you could say the shadows or from by extension, because it matters to me. I'm not just <clears throat> letting all the cards fall where they will or the dice fall where they will. I'm trying to get involved as much as I can. So I just want you guys to know that. So I hope and pray that you guys have an excellent first day. I really do. Today, I was going to read out of the 52 Hebrew words book. <clears throat> and the, the word that I felt like the Lord had told me to read out of, or the word, is pronounced shaka. Now, I probably am not pronouncing it right. I'll just tell you that right now. Um, S-H-A-K-A-N, I believe. Um, the Hebrew um, writing is also kind of hard to make 
sense of, let me find that page, there we go. So I'm going to read out of it, um, I'm going to do my best to read out of it considering I don't have, ah, my chapstick, I don't have my glasses, so um, let me hold this with this hand so I can hold this up. So actually I know what I'll do, I have an idea. I have an idea. I can be creative in this. There we go. <clears throat> I'm resting my arm on the... <laughs> so, okay. This word means change, which I thought was perfect, considering it's the first day of your school year, and there's lots of changes, right? Like, even though there's some similarities in the whole, I guess, process or... The, um, yeah, I guess the process of getting ready for school, going to school, there's still change. You change from summer, you change from having a lot of freedom to now you have to get into a routine and a schedule. So now you're going back to change. <clears throat> I will say that you guys do an incredible job with change. It's not, it's not always the case. Um, I don't know what the percentage is statistically, but a lot of people struggle, even in their adult years, they struggle with change. They're more comfortable with the status quo, so the things that are just, it's like a routine and regimen that is the same every single day, or changes a little bit each day, but is pretty much always the same. So you guys being so adaptable and accommodative to change is a blessing and I believe it's another gift that the Lord has given you. You guys had to go through a lot of change when um, when everything happened, when I filed for divorce from your father and then everything unraveled. So um, I'm not going to get into the the when, why, the, the when, where, what, when, why, how, why, where, what, when, and how in this video, but I have put it in other videos at the very beginning. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and read from this book. Autumn is a time when change, so autumn, that would also be the word fall here, we call it the fall. It's a time, let me show you a picture, so it's all the autumn leaves. <clears throat> so autumn is a time when change is obvious in the world. It's during this season that leaves change, that leaves change, meaning like the leaves on the tree, change color dramatically before falling off of the trees. And the temperature starts to shift. It starts to get cooler, right? There are a lot of people reading these words who love the change in seasons, but they fear change in their everyday life. Change can be hard. It can also be scary. It can be disruptive. But you don't have to live life consumed by anxiety or stress when it comes to change. And I'm sure you guys have learned some incredible coping mechanisms um, with having to change so many things and then move with the change of your surroundings and your circumstances. Kudos to you. I believe it's all God. That he has given you guys the ability to deal really well with change. <clears throat> okay, back to the book. Um, so you don't have to live life consumed by anxiety or stress when it comes to change. You don't have to fear change when you understand that God does not change. It stays the same. The Hebrew word for change is Shana. When the prophet Malachi writes, I am the Lord and I do not change. Malachi 3 verse 6. The word Shana means that God has always been the same in the past. He is the same in the present. And he will always be the same in the future. He never changes. While you may be facing changes today that you did not ask for or do not want, God promises to be an unchanging foundation for you, always. He is always a foundation for us. Believing this truth won't change what 
what you deal with, but it should change how you deal with it. Does that make sense? I'm going to read it again. <clears throat> Believing this truth won't change what you deal with, meaning it's not going to change your circumstances, but it should change how you deal with your circumstances, how you deal with the stuff that comes your way, because you know that God doesn't change. He is for us. He's not against us ever. If you are stressed because of change, or maybe even school, maybe school chart st starting and there's some things going on in the school, your classes, um, and you're starting to stress about this change, in any, or in any area of your life, in any of your circumstances, relationship status, or some other situation today, or even tomorrow, this week, next week, or in the future, you may find hope in God and that he never ever changes. He makes a promise to you guys and to me that he is the same. He's the first, the last, and forever. He will not change. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end in a prayer. I know I actually have no makeup on today. <laughs> I um, took a shower and then threw my hair in a ponytail and that was it. I'm actually extremely tired. I'm exhausted. Um, but, and you can probably see that in my eyes, but that's all right. I'm going to push through. You guys are probably tired too. Your first day of school, having to learn new teachers, learn new circumstances, the whole change, right? Shama, Shaka, or however you say it. Um, and I'm sure you guys rocked it today. I'm sure you guys did. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. And I wish I could be there to cheer you on and ask you how your day went and encourage you. But I'm going to do my best through these videos and just remind you how amazing you are, how brave you are, how courageous you are, and that you do persevere. You always have. You always will. Because that's who God made you to be. He, he just has. All right, I'm going to close in a prayer. Father God, I just thank you so much for making me, for creating me, for designing me to carry my children in my womb, to be their mother. I am so grateful for that. Lord, I thank you for the spiritual and the physical bond that we created, even if it was only eight years and only 12 years, Lord. It is still late in 12 years, and that does not go unnoticed to me. I am still incredibly grateful that you allowed me that time with my children. Father God, we continue to pray. May your will be done in this situation, in my children's lives, in my life, in my family's life, Lord here on earth as it is in heaven. Lord God, I continue to ask that you reunite me with Warren and Clara soon. Lord, I ask that you bless their rest tonight, multiply their sleep, multiply the peace that surpasses all understanding throughout the night and when they wake up tomorrow morning for their next new school day. We just thank you, Lord, because I know you're working. We praise you for that in your heavenly name. Amen. I love you guys so much. God bless you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.